It's Coach Simmons here. I wanted to talk to you today about smoking mirrors. A lot of these complaints and arguments about FCS schedules, by having to play the big boys make a tough schedule, by having to play the SEC, the ACC, the Power Five for HBCUs to make that tough schedule. Well, all that, ladies and gentlemen, just went up in smoke. This is an article by Craig Haley from FCS Analyst. So we want to let you know, Team by Team strength and schedule heading into the 2023 FCS season. Harvard, okay. Hmm, St. Thomas is a very formidable team. Okay, mostly in conference. Nichols, Southland. Elon, Cal Poly. Campbell, you know what all good Campbell is. Fourth Alabama, Yale, ETSU. Let's get down to, to the nitty gritty here. Tied for third, Mississippi Valley State. I'm sorry, 13th, Mississippi Valley State. And 15th, AT. Those are the two toughest HBC schedules. And the next one doesn't come for a long time. They give no respect for any other HBCU. Besides, we're doing Cliff Winning Texas Southern in 34, 35. So what we're going to do is, what's the difference between a and and the Valley schedule? And why is Valley ranked higher? So people, let me ask you this question. The difference between Valley schedule and AT schedule. Which one was easier for you? Let's start off with number 13, Valley. September 2nd, they host well, Central State in Chicago. They got a bye. They go to Delta State and to NC Central. That's the out of conference games. Two D2 schools and NC Central. Now, going to a and they go to UAB. They play NC Central, Norfolk, Hampton, out of the conference. Now, this schedule they had showed Campbell being, being a very tough team, very tough schedule. a and also plays Campbell. Who does Valley play? Well, they got home games with FAMU, Pine Bluff, Jackson, and Ballard State. Road games, Prairie View, Alcorn State, Bethune, Cookman, and AM. Villanova, Richmond, Hampton, Townsend, Rhode Island, Elon. This goes to show you what they really think about you playing those big time money games. So there is no way you can convince me a team with a schedule that has two D2 schools on it and one national champion on it is better than a school which has that same national champion and an FBS school on it. Unless, unless they're saying the SWAC is tougher than the A&T schedule, uh, conference. I doubt they're saying that. Yeah, they can't be saying that, right? So what is it? What makes a and schedule weaker than Valley's? Jackson State's ranked. That's it. Maybe fam you. Both of those games are at Itabina. That's what they're basing it on. They're basing this on the fact that Valley State has tougher road games. I'm sorry, home games, not road games. 
when looking at the home games, Valley is number four in the country. Now Northern Colorado, Stetson, Albany, and Idaho below them. 652 for their home games. Which leads me to go through this big old situation. We've been doing this all wrong. Instead of us scheduling these tough games like the UAB blowout is going to happen, schedule somebody tough at home. That's what Valley did. It's how they're better. Beef up your home games. It's coach. I'm out.